What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out Salt and Sacrifice, the much-awaited sequel to Salt and Sanctuary. Diving on in today, this is a Souls-like RPG in a 2D format where you run around and do all the stuff that you normally do inside of a Souls-like game, i.e. die a lot. We're going to dive on in, spend about 25-30 minutes with the game today and see if it's something you wanted to add to your wish list. This is coming out on Epic as far as I know. So, you know, take this time. It's okay. I'm going to give you guys a moment to, you know, get the hisses and boos out of your system. It's okay. I totally get it. You and I, we are going to get through this together. So let's dive on into a new game. If after watching this, you wanted to get the game for yourself, I have a link for you down below. On top of that, you can also join in with my community where you're always welcome to dive into my Discord or my Twitch stream. Both those links are down below, and I tend to stream every single day of the week, so you're more than welcome to see things live. I tend to play stuff on the channel on Twitch that I felt like 30 minutes weren't enough for here on YouTube. Uh, let's go ahead and start off a new game. Your name is Test Account. All right, well, there, there's very few words in the English language that start with test stack, and test account, I, I feel like, is probably better than, than, than what it could be, but let's kind of go with, you know, I'm just going to go with Splattercat this time around. Why not, why, why mix it up if you can go with the classics, you know what I mean? Let's confirm it. So now we get to make our character. We can choose our class. We can be a cleric. We can be an assassin. We can be a fighter, we can be a duelist, we can be a high blade, we can be a paladin, we can be a ranger, or we can be a sage. I'll probably just go with like a bog standard fighter for right now. I tested the game out on the paladin, and being a paladin really didn't seem to matter altogether that much. So, let's go with the fighter for right now. We will be a dude. Our crime was sumptuousness. I don't even know what sumptuousness means. It's got too many syllables. I've got a hard embargo on learning any word that has more than like three syllables, if I can help it, dude. Uh, let's make our usury. Okay, neither a borrower nor a lender be. Vagrancy. Lasciviousness. Forgery. Drunkenness. Let's just go with heresy, dude. Let's go for the big ticket items. If you're going to be a criminal condemned to die on a hell island, you might as well go there for a reason. Uh, we can choose our ancestry. Let's be a green guy. That sounds good. Our eye color is gold. No, I don't really want to do the Raceland thing out here. I'll just go with brown. As far as hair goes, yeah, let's go with something messy. That sounds nice. And then I can have a beard, too. Yeah, let's just be, like, super, super messy about this. And then we'll sally forth. I am condemned. For the crime of heresy, the realm's ultimate penalty awaited me. But there is another way to become a marked inquisitor. I drank the mage bane and I spoke the words. My gowler brings me to the western frontier where whispers of magic again stir. I only live to hunt mages. Aw, oh, dude, they struck down my reindeer. Rudolph, no! Okay, well, my hands are bound, so let's search this guy real fast and see what he's got going on. Hey, he's got a dagger for me. I'll take it. It's better than having nothing, and then it looks like we've got a battle axe and a shield. Okay, and then we've got, like, some throwing axes, too. All right, I am playing this with a controller. Uh, there are WASP controls with left click and right click for attack and all that kind of stuff. But I find that with 2D games, I tend to perform better if I just use a controller. So that's what I'm doing here. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to swipe you guys up. Get on out of my way. And it looks like we have pulled some salt out of their bodies. I'd be kind of salty too if somebody ran up on me and just like smacked me in the face with an axe. I feel like I would really only be salty like briefly. Oh my god. Please get hit by axes. Oh god. Okay, so this is one of those cases where I think a mouse probably would have been better right there, but it's okay. We hit him. Oh, wait, he dropped items over here. I can't leave loot behind. You guys will leave nasty comments about how I waste my loot, so I'm going to go back. I got it for you, all right? That was purely for chat right there. I normally probably would have left it behind and not even noticed, but I'm on my A game right now, dude. It's a Monday. I'm feeling refreshed from the weekend while I'm recording this, and so I feel like I've got a little bit of extra energy. Oh, my God, he's massive. 
I don't like anything about this. Oh my god. Yeah, maybe. I'm, I'm gonna go be in my corner. Oh my god, he's enormous. Is his health bar going up? Oh, I don't like that at all. Yeah, please don't strike me with your massive vascular arms. Your vascularity terrifies me. Oh god. Please no. Oh god! <laughs> I've been juggled. He's doing me dirty like this in front of my friends on the internet. What happens? Oh, I didn't make it. I wanted to see what happens if I make it all the way up to where his health goes. I wonder if that's actually, like, winnable on your first run or if that's intended. It's always hard to tell with these Souls-like games. They always have, like, that hidden achievement that's like, yeah, beat the boss on the first try without dying at the intro of the game. Uh, thank the gods, you're stirring. Spell marked, but stirring, so the Mage Vein Rite did succeed. Belail herself must have been watching over you when you encountered that beast in the woods. It was pure luck that Stable Hand Bren was nearby. You were on Death's doorstep when he brought you back to Pardoner's Vale. Fortunately, I was able to nurse you back to health. You may call me Herbalist Shenna. I am the Inquisition's leader at Pardoner's Vale. Take this hearth and flask, quaff it the next time that you are injured. Any questions? Many questions. It is October, so I guess we can do... Kind of the uh, the David S. Pumpkins reference. We can throw that out there. Uh, I'm just going to go straight for the objective. I'm not going to waste time with a whole bunch of dialogue here because it's going to eat up our chance to first impressions of the game. But we do have upgrades. So if you're at the blacksmith, you can use crafting materials to upgrade your character uh, or to upgrade your weapons and craft new things. Over here, you can upgrade your armor. Uh, there's a bunch of items over here, but we need a supplementary item in order to get after those. I'm just going to skip through all that right there so that you guys don't have to see it. And then we'll get on our way towards adventure. Uh, we need to go down to the portal. So this game uses kind of a unique system where it reminds me a little bit of, like, dot .hack, I guess. Like, you know how in dot .hack you would put in a bunch of, like, symbols or whatever, and it would open a gate of, like, a certain type depending on what you put in? And there was, like, a million different gates that you could open that all had different elemental currencies and things that you could farm out? in that particular circumstance. This game kind of does something similar where you like acquire runes and then if you put the runes in in certain orders it opens up like levels for you or like hunts or like challenges or like other things for you to dive on into and I'll show you how that works right here down the stairs. All right, so here's the portal, and I talked to the runesmith, so we have our first set of runes for kind of like the newbie level that we can go into. It looks like we need upside down F, wherever that might be at. We need a right-leaning X and then properly upright X. And then we need weird lowercase n and then slightly drunk H. And it looks like it's going to open a level for us. Okay, Ashbourne Village. Uh, this is basically the campfire for all intents and purposes in this game. It's a little bit different than what you would expect from a Souls-like, though. So when you play Dark Souls, every time you go to a campfire, it restores all your Estus flasks. In this game, not the case. You have to find crafting items all throughout the levels. And if you have those crafting items, only then will it replenish your consumables. So just something to kind of keep in mind. I'm going to rest and resupply just to make sure that I'm soul bound to this thing. Because I don't know if that's the case right now. We've got some valley herbs and a tender vine right there. Over here to the left, we've got another one, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that for my future crafty abilities. I'm just going to, like, smack these dudes up. I don't see any reason to kind of stall. It looks like they're looting, too. Wow, we got a bunch of stuff out of there. All right. Uh, big guy, are you going to do anything? Oh, my God, I've been thrashed. Okay, all right. You want to you wanna run that by me again there, Chief? Oh, my God, he was just out of range. Okay. I gotta figure out how to get inside this guy's range, dude. He swings faster than I do. That creates problematic predicaments. There we go. We finally knocked him down. I get knocked down, but I get up again. And then look, there's a spooky cave down there. I'm gonna go up this way first and stay on the surface. Spooky caves worry me in a number of, I think, very real and notable ways. Uh, it looks like up here, lanterns. We've got a little bow guy. Please don't shoot me with an arrow. I would very much like it if you would not do that. Uh, the Irona ore right there. Uh, 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 Irona. Uh, what the Irona does is the Irona allows us to get our throwing axes back. I don't like any of you guys. Can you stop? Thank you. I'm trying to talk to my friends on the internet right now, and you're making it very, very difficult. Ooh, there's like a little jumping thingy over here. 
Oh, there's a door. What does that say? You need a heart of a named mage to proceed. Yeah, so I guess we're just going to be eating people's hearts out of their chests because we go hard in the paint like... Oh, there was a booby trap! Oh, no! Okay, I didn't expect that. That actually totally took me by surprise. <laughs> it's all fun and games until you get wiped out by log. It's log, it's log, it's big, it's round, it's wood. Log, log, better than bad, it's good. Okay, so now that we know that the boobity trap is up here, I gotta be a little bit more careful about my ascension. But it did give us an opportunity to accumulate... I did it twice, bro. I did it twice. I knew that it was there that time, and I still walked into it like just an absolute... Just, I don't know, dude. Just, I don't know what's wrong with me. I spend hours late into the night just kind of questioning what is wrong with me, and I've got no answers for you. I wish that I did. I thought the trigger was a little bit further back, and I thought that that was where my body landed after I got smacked. That was my thought process. Like, I don't know if that helps you accept my stupidity on, like, a more reasonable level. Oh, it looks like I can craft ammunition on the fly, too. Can I hit this right here to make that fall? Looks like I can. I might need some kind of, like, burning item or something to make that fall, but we can't get up there just yet. So I think we have to go with Spooky Cave. Is there anything over here to the left, though, before we do that? It does look like there's a little rosehip tree right there, like a little rosehip bush. I don't know. Like, sometimes they like to... Like, I was playing around with the game, and I found that they like to hide stuff behind the foreground decorations that you can, like, actually loot, like, treasure chests and stuff like that. Thus far, from, like, the hour and a half or so that I've spent with the game, I do think that the platforming feels very, very good. Like, the jumping and the momentum and the gravity all feel very well-tuned. The attacking and the defending all seem to have a pretty good sense of, like, motion and impact. I was a little bit worried. Anytime I see a game that uses paper dolls in order to kind of like set up their graphical styling i get a little bit nervous about it just because like i, I tend to notice that that's a thing that kind of games that are not crazy high quality do uh, but in this case it seems like the paper doll is work oh he can jump that high oh my god okay well i just got taken completely and totally by surprise right there i didn't even know my man has like an 11 foot vertical leap are you sure he shouldn't be the hero of the story I feel like he should be the hero of the story if he's going to have, like, an 11-foot vertical leap. It just, I don't have that, and they've made me the hero. What if the adventure ends up requiring, necessitating, nay, it becomes imperative that you have an 11-foot jump, you know what I mean? Like, please don't shiv me with that big knife. I just, you know, I don't want to get stabbed today. I woke up today, and I made the reasonable proclamation inside my head that I was not going to get shanked. And so, like, if you could just avoid shanking me for a little bit. I feel like there's a possibility that we might be able to develop just kind of this kinship into a full-on friendship. But if you shiv me, no promises. Ow. Ow. Stop it. I'm going to drink a potion real fast. Just something to get my vitals restored. If you want to jump over here. Oh, he actually jumped through my character. So I guess that I don't have clipping. They can just jump through me. That's that's what I learned right there. Oh, treasure chest. Hi. Anything good? A golden candle and a bronze snuffer. Can I equip that anywhere? It doesn't look equipable. Oh, those are like co-op items. I can summon other players to help me with my tasks. There's a grappling hook spot right there. Later on in the game, we get a grappling hook, okay? So if you see me running around and just ignoring certain paths, like I know that I can't get up there, it's because I've played a little bit before I recorded this, and I'm aware that there's a grappling hook that I have to have before we can actually, you know, move in between locations. Uh, what does this require? Kill three named mages to proceed. Okay. I haven't even killed my first mage. I think you might be putting a little bit too much optimism on my overall proclivities for success. But I'll do my best. I just can't promise anything. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll restore everything over here. There we go. So we've turned our berries into flasks and we've turned our iron into ammunition. 
We'll grab that right there, and then I think we've got a boss. Oh, he's been crucifying people. How nice of him. Nothing says I'm a decent guy like crucifixions all around your condo. I don't... Oh, my God. My man's got skills, and I am terrified. I got slashed with a sword. I was stupefied. I lost a bunch of health, and then I might have died. Man. Okay, so, like, here's what I'm going to need from you. I'm going to need just a second to drink that flask right there. I think I can time this out. Oh, no! He turned around. You're not supposed to turn around. You can't do that. That's not an ability that bosses have. Uh, can I just, like... Well, I didn't want to use that, but okay. I'm trying not to get greedy here. What I wanted to do was throw some... Oh, you're locked into a direction when you throw an axe. Okay. All right, I'm going to get, like, way over here. We're going to give him, like, two of those. He's going to jump in. We're going to double tap him, and we're going to stay out. All right? I found my opening, and I don't want to get greedy. Getting greedy is a path to pain and suffering. Oh, he didn't jump that time. Why didn't he jump? Yeah, jump, dude. Jump. You might as well jump. Oh, he's got a flip around attack. Dip. I didn't really want to drink that potion. I wanted to throw an axe, but like... He should almost be dead. At least I would hope so. Yeah, just take another axe, dude. Hold that axe for me, right in the middle of your forehead. Perfect, and so we have obliterated our first dude what needed to be obliterated, and we looted a beloved idol which I think is an equipment item that gives us 4 HP. I'll take it. If you're wondering why there's a big blue section of our health missing right there, there's a big blue section of our health missing right there because we died. And if you die, it basically deletes a chunk of your health bar, and you can't get it back until you use this item right here called a guiltless shard in order to get that chunk of HP back. So just kind of like keep that in mind. I will more than likely use one right here. And it does restore a chunk of your HP along with it, so nothing to worry about there. And down here, we are going to meet our funny little friend. Oh, there's fall damage. Funzos! I had no idea there was fall damage. I just learned a new thing today. There's our dear, dear friend, the grappling hook. Uh, make sure you break open all the pots and stuff. I don't know if loot comes out, but it's satisfying. All right. And then we'll just grappling hook our way around. There's a treasure chest right there. I saw it peeking, dude. I saw it peek into another beloved idol. Can I put both of them on myself? Oh, so I have double beloved idols. But unfortunately, I have not the means to equip them all for super extra awesome HPs. Now that we have that, I'm pretty sure we can go up this way. There's also that little area back there that we probably could explore. I don't know if I want to go back for it. Hmm. Do I? I'm going to rest and resupply real fast, too, because we are terrifyingly low on sundries. Yeah, I think I will go back, actually. That little secret room over there, it's got me interested. Okay, so going back in. I love those little loadless transitions right there. That's just great. Oh, it looks like I can't jump high enough, so I guess that's not going to be a useful direction for us to go in. I went all the way back up there, but it looks like we're going to need a double jump or we're going to need some kind of traversal tool in order to be able to jump that high in order to get the grappling hook up. So I guess we'll just cut to the right over here. Through the field of crucifixion, up the stairs of, I don't know, travails. There we go. I needed something that allowed me to roll the R. If I couldn't roll the R, it was just it was going to lose its supplicant qualities. You know, it's going to lose, like, that religious vibe that it had going on. That's the wrong direction. There we go. Ah! Well. Thanks, Annie Oakley. I appreciate that. Die, please. Thank you. I need my Rowenge on you. All right. Open this chest up. Anything good? A tender vine. 
That means at some point somebody chewed that thing. How would you know that it's tender unless you chew it? Like, tender is usually used to describe things that are culinary. Not typically for just random objects you find out in the middle of nowhere, like, oh, I found this very tender tire chain, you know what I mean? Like, that's not a conversation that ever happens. That counted, huh? That's miraculous that that counted. Frankly, I'm shocked. Woo! Barely got away with that one. All right, I'm going to wait for him to jump down. We'll smack him up a little bit. 606 on my salt meter. I do think some more salt would be... Oh, my God. It's an assault bat. He's trying to give me the ronies. All right, so let's grab a little bit of this iron over here. Get our axes back and refilled. How many were up top right here? Oh, my God. Almost ate that arrow to the face. Those bats actually did a shockingly good job of hitting me. All right, to the health potion I go. Estus flask is bestest flask. Probably going to need a hot and spicy block right there if we wanted to pull that one off. A little bit more iron, though, to play around with. I don't see anything hidden behind that wall, that, like, foreground piece right there. Uh, what the hell is that? Oh, my God, he's got a flamethrower. Stop, drop, and roll! Stop, drop, and roll! My perineum is burning! All right. Oh, he summoned more of them. Gotcha. And then he ran off on me. Sooted nail, sooted nail. And a valley herb. So that's cool. A valley herb is just like the same as a normal herb. The only difference is it sounds like a valley girl. Like, you know, oh my god, gag me with a spoon, that kind of stuff. Thank the gods, an inquisitor. I returned from a journey to Ashbourne Village only to discover what had become of it. I had even forgotten about the village's warding seals. Many of the doors are impassable while powerful mages are still alive. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I have noticed several of your doors that seem to be just sort of emanating strawberry flavor, so... Rest and resupply? Sure, why not? We haven't saved in a while. Anything out this way? Oh, it's the fire guy again. It looks like he's getting chewed on pretty good by some of the support- Oh, he teleported out. I was gonna say, it looks like he's getting chewed on pretty good by some of the support mobs out here. One thing I do really, really like about this game is that the AI have factions, and they will fight each other. Uh, that actually, I think, adds a very organic feel to the game world when, like, all the enemies aren't on the same side regardless of, like, their race or whatever. Like, I do like that the goblins and the mages are, like, actively fighting each other. Makes the world feel very much more alive. It also provides you with interesting opportunities to, like, go after people and smoke them if you need to. Oh, there's our big guy again. Hey there, you're an inquisitor, aren't you, mage brain? Yep. Listen, if you make your way up the cliffs just behind us, there's a tree at the very top that talks. It told me that it wanted to speak to somebody that had eaten the heart of a mage. You ever done that? Eaten one? Uh, no. Maybe it's time then you started. In the gatehouse below us, there's a burned corpse with a magic warp to it. If you could investigate the corpse, maybe it'll lead you to a pyromancer. I don't think I need it to. I feel like I found the pyromancer. Like, he is very obviously right there. I mean, he's like 40-something feet tall, dude. Like... How are you going to lose a guy that's that big, you know? Like, it just seems kind of obvious to me that that's where he resides. Ow. Okay. All right. All right. That dude just stabbed me with a booty fork. Can I just keep chasing this mage? Does he get his health back? I'm just going to... Oh. I thought they took two swings. How come he took three swings? Am I back where I started? Oh, I'm totally back where I started, man. Okay. Righto. Well, if I'm back where I started, then... Let's go back to town and level up real fast. I think that's the way to start. So I'm going to take you back and we're going to level up real quick. Uh, you can leave the level and come back like whenever you want. And we've got enough to level up a couple of times. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Alright, so this is the level up shrine. Uh, we basically just bind to it the tree of skill. 
Oh, uh, I bet the tree of skill is we got we got to kill a mage, and then we talk to the tree of skill, and then we can progress that way. Okay, so and I bet the black star stones are what we slot in on that little sphere grid type deal. That only gave me like two HP. I was hoping it would raise my attack or something, but maybe that's on the star stone grid. Can I do anything with that right now? Oh, I can. I can get a point of conviction. I've got augmented endurance. We've got great hammer. We've got a point of endurance. That would be really, really nice. I'll take that. We do seem to not have very much stamina. Yeah, I'll just throw it all for right now into endurance. I tend to do that in Dark Souls, too. It's like I try to get the endurance to the place where I can like non-stop attack for like X amount of time. And then once I've got it there, that's when I start throwing stuff into other categories. I just, I can't stand not being able to swing my weapon a whole bunch. Now let's go back in and see if we can kill one of those mages before we depart for the day. All right, well, I got our kill mage quest, so let's go find this guy. It's going to mark him on the screen for us, so it shouldn't be that difficult. Block that real fast. I need to clean out all these little supplementary guys that are on, like, the edges of the screen. Now, the downside to fighting with mages is that you really have no idea how much health they have. But we did get a pretty solid bunch of chops off right there. So if he had a health meter, I'd be feeling pretty confident right now. But since I have no idea how much I just reduced his health by, uh, bit of a predicament. Bit of a predicament. Oh my god, that was a hell of a leap there, pal. Can they follow me in here? I don't know if they can follow me in here. But we need to keep chasing this mage down. I feel like we've got some pretty solid hits off on him. I'm sort of wondering if eventually he's going to lead us to, like, a boss arena. And then from there, we're going to actually be able to kill him. For right now, it's kind of hard to say. Oh, I got a mage stone right there. What does a mage stone do? Is it, like, usable? Mage stone, what do you do? Oh, it doesn't have a description yet because this is a demo. Did I say that? This is a demo. Don't expect this to be like the full version of the game. This is absolutely, positively a demo. I want you guys to fight me over here. Yeah, I was going to say, if you guys could fight me over here, that'd be great. Uh, should I heal right now? Yeah, I'll heal right now. We got plenty of flasks. It'll probably be okay. It says the mage is right over here. Where's he at? Oh, he summoned a big spooky spider this time around. Ow, and a giant fire sword that just totally clocked me. Oh my god. Okay. All right, giant spider. All right, giant spider. Giant spider no flinchy like the rest of them, dude. Giant spider doesn't care. Giant spider's got an attitude. Gel sack, ash caked lung, gel sack. My guess is those will be useful at some point, but it's kind of hard for me to say when exactly that's going to be. He's in a flamethrower. Oh, no. I don't know what he just did. He did something, though. And I fell, so that's not great. Uh, I can't change directions of my swing in midair. I do like how the little items float down to the ground, kind of like ash. Um, we don't have a way back up, unfortunately, but it looks like he teleported, so it doesn't matter. Let me loot this real fast. All the loot comes back whenever you recycle the map, by the way. Okay, that was a pretty thick chin zombie right there. Yeah, that's a pretty big, beefy, terrifying attack. Ow. Okay, now I'm on fire. Now I'm on fire. Ow. Now I'm definitely more hurted. Oh, he hurts you when he teleports, too. So I'm just, like, flat out dead. Wow, that guy's got a lot of HP, dude. I'd appreciate it if they give me some kind of, like, meter. Oh, so we got him down to about half health right there. It finally gave... Maybe the meter was supposed to pop up before then, but it just, like, didn't. I don't know. I honestly couldn't tell you. It says to continue the hunt, so let me see if I can find him again. I'm under no illusions that uh, we're not going to have to, like, knock his health down from full again, which kind of sucks. But I'll get good. 
All right, so here we go. I'm buckling in for the long play, dude. I've attempted him like 30 times now. We're going to get the win on this one. I can feel it. I can't let this go until out of the way, zombie. Out of the way. Okay. All right, I can't let this go. Okay, a little bit of damage off. Dodge the sword. Yup. Uh, blown up into the air, unfortunately. And then lit on fire with a flamethrower. My man's a little bit of a fan of overkill. It doesn't have to be like this, dude. I don't want to drink all of my strawberry juice. Oh, this does not seem to be going well. Got a couple hits in. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Ah, juggled behind him with the flamethrower. I got it. I have to do this. Okay. Everybody on the internet has to know. They have to know how skilled I am. I'm so skilled. Drink the potion. Okay. So the potion's down. I'm just going to hang out over here. Drink more potion. Oh, boy. Okay. So we got out of the way of that one and then flamethrower instantly in the face. Feels bad. I'm just going to take this slow. I think if you dodge late, I think that's it. Oh, juggled again. Man, am I, I don't know if we got this. Come on, self-confidence. you got to come from somewhere. There's no alcohol available, so I just need you to come from within. More flamethrower. Oh, my God. Okay, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Yeah, you got to jump late. Then he misses the flamethrower. Oh, I got him. I got him. That took me so many tries, dude. That's such a hard fight for so early in the game. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was such... It took me so many attempts to kill that guy. I edited them all out so that you wouldn't see. But it took me so many attempts, bro. Oh, no. There's like a thousand items right there, too. You miserable fool. I need the flame and I need the fury. Why did you stifle my rage? Why? Um, it's my duty. You cold, empty scum. Your banality is devoid of pure, unbridled fury. There is no rage in your work. I needed fire. I needed to feel the flame, to smell the burning flesh. The cold is overwhelming. Yep, and now you're dead. Now you're super de duper de dead. But this is salt and sacrifice. Hard game. Not gonna lie. The first boss wasn't too bad. That guy right there... I figured out... What I figured out about his timing is... He punishes you dodging too early. So, all of his abilities basically hit everywhere if you dodge too early because they track you. And so, against your better judgment, you have to wait a second and time the dodge so that half of his attack gets wasted and he can't whip it around on you with the omnidirectionality of it. And so, once you figured that out, it's not so bad. But anyway, Salt and sacrifice. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you all tomorrow with something hot and fresh off the indie skillet. I am officially stressed. I'm going to go have a beer and a lie down. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow.